Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video, I want to show you everything you need to know in order to get started with assets and databases. And the best way to start is by opening up the asset browser because this is the home for all assets. So let me search for something like green. And now you can see a bunch of assets and assets can be anything. Assets can be objects, materials, media like textures and videos, assets can be nodes or node operators and also scenes or projects, but assets can even be more. For example, keywords or also these categories here are assets. There are a lot of places where you can find assets. Now let me bring up another asset here like the toaster and let's open up the details panel here. And in here you can see that this asset is part of a database and databases are basically the containers for assets including the whole asset file structure. Now let me show you what this looks like on the hard drive. Here you can see that it's just a folder with the name and if you unfold it you can see all of the other files and folders that are part of this database. Now here's an important thing never touch this structure in here because it will break your database. Whenever you want to copy assets over to another database and so on, always go to the asset browser and use the commands that are available in here. Now here you can see that this asset is part of the Maxon Assets database, which is the database containing all of the assets that are in the asset browser by default and you can download them and use them in your projects. But this whole topic is getting really interesting when you start creating your own assets and databases. And I want to show you how you can do that. Let me fold this category here first. And now we want to use this object that I created using scene reconstruction inside of Cinema 4D and turn it into an asset. And here's how you can do this. First of all, you need to select the object and then you go to create add objects to database. You can also add materials, files and scenes, but we want to add an object and I don't want to click this command here. I want to click the gear icon in order to bring up the save asset window. Here we can adjust the name and I will remove the underscore here. We've got a version info here, so versioning is completely supported. And then we can choose a database. By default, the scene database and the preferences database are listed in here. If you save an asset to the scene database, it will only be available in the asset browser as long as you are working in exactly this scene. If you save an asset to the preferences database, it will be available in all projects you're working on using this installation of Cinema 4D. So it won't be available in earlier versions of Cinema 4D or in later versions. So let's come to the most interesting part here, the create new database entry. And this is the place where you can create custom databases, which can be located on your company server, for example, and every colleague can have access to this database and you can work on it collaboratively. So let's hit create new database and this will bring up this little window here and we will create a new folder, call it quick tip and hit create. And now I'm gonna open this and you can see that it has been added as a database to the dropdown. We can choose it. We don't want a category for this asset, so we set it to uncategorized and now we hit OK. And here we go. Now we've got an uncategorized folder here and you can see that our object has been added to the database. But not only the object, but also the textures that have been linked to the materials here. And here you can see that the database is is set to quick tip. Cool. Now, another thing I always do is I create a new category for my database. So I simply click create category and I call it quick tip and set the database to quick tip as well and remove the category, hit OK. And here is our quick tip folder. Now let's just select the assets that we created and drag and drop them onto the quick tip category and now they are in here. Cool, now that we have a quick tip database and also a quick tip category containing some assets, it might also be interesting to know where the connection between a database and Cinema 4D can be made. And in order to see that, 
you need to go to edit preferences and down here there is an asset browser section and once you click that you can see that there is a databases list and this is exactly the place where our mounted and also unmounted databases are listed. So here you can uncheck this category and you can see that it will immediately disappear from the asset browser and we can also tick it again and here it is. This is also the place where you can mount databases that you created before or that have been created by a colleague. Simply go to add folder and then we're going to add my database here, open it up and you can see that it's now listed here as well and we can see it in the asset browser too. Fantastic! Now let me show you how you can create node assets because the workflow is a little bit different since we don't have an entry here in the create menu for node assets. Let me close the preferences and let me open up this node based material here. It's just a simple wood pattern that I created using a group and in order to turn this into an asset all we need to do is we go to assets convert to asset and this will bring up the save asset window again and we can choose a database in this case I will use my database and I will also search for the category my database and add the asset to this category hit OK and here we go now it has been added to the database you can see that here and we can also just hit add notes type in simple and here is our simple wood and now we double click it and we can add it to the note editor here thanks for watching if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment and subscribe